Our next to last group is Project Lead, Learning Engineering by Applying Do-It-Yourself. Uh, maybe you've seen their work online at this point. Please welcome Project Lead. Uh, hello, my name is Daniel Jing. I am a part of the group Project Lead, which stands for Learning Engineering by Applying DIY, which is DIY is, stands for Do It Yourself. Uh, this is Maritza Chavez um, and John Moose Miller. Um, he's like at the prom right now. So, uh, well, it's all right. He, he missed out on this great food, anyways. So. Um, and our mentors are Sheena Enriquez and Luis Fernandez. Um, our, our, our group uh, identified our problem to be that STEM is boring in class. Originally, we wanted to work with at least 25 students in a classroom, but we found that it was really difficult to do that for our group, um, especially with John living so far away from us. He, he couldn't even make it today, but we, we greatly are um, appreciative of him. So um, what we did in order to make our project work, we used, a digital, we used um, the digital world like Facebook and YouTube to spread the fun side of STEM. Um, it was great to use these tools because it was free, it's accessible, and it was a great way to spread our spread, um, STEM, uh, interest in STEM globally. Um, so what we did was, one, we built an online audience. We like, produced YouTube videos about uh, STEM-related uh, projects and DIY projects. Um, one of them would be to how to get the Android operating system running on a Raspberry Pi. And um, for a bit of a comparison, like uh, the Raspberry Pi is about, as, uh, about the same size as a smartphone. It costs $35, which not $200 instead. Um, and also another video would be to uh, get the uh, Ubuntu operating system running off of a flash drive, which is like there's Windows, there's uh, Mac operating system, and then there's Linux. Um, Ubuntu is kind of a very um, enriching environment uh, operating system for kids because it's very easy to use. It's like a neat introduction. It's also uh, has a pretty cool programming environment and all that stuff too. Um, and in our video would be to uh, get the Ubuntu phone experience working on the smartphone. Um, and I would say, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, we I originally identified success as 25 students in the classroom and us teaching them um, projects about STEM. Um, it didn't work out that way. We uh, actually made YouTube videos and shared them on Facebook, and it reached it reached globally. We um, reached at least uh, oh, yeah at least 100 countries, um, from the United States all the way to Kenya, and it was really interesting to see how we we didn't get to have 25 students, but instead we we showed these videos to 2,500 people, and to us it was pretty amazing. Um, we identified that as our success. We, um, at the beginning of our project, we also wanted to reach, um, teach STEM more to um, female, because there's not many female in STEM um, fields. But our Facebook allowed us to visualize how many female and male people were liking our videos and liking our page. Um, as you can see in this graph, it's really small, but I'll tell you the numbers. We have at least 300 users a week with 25 users in total. Um, um, the majority were male, but we had a high percentage, a significant percentage of female, and that helped us realize that we were reaching out to even more people. We also hypothesized that using um, videos to spread STEM, STEM ideas to um, uh, globally would also help. I think it, um, we said something like um, female were, female maybe feel more comfortable in their household watching videos that would help them with projects in STEM. And so moving right along, we got uh, lessons learned, which is communication is key. Like, I can't stress this enough. Like, uh, we, <laughs> like, since we're living around, like, all around Chicago and stuff, we found it very hard to um, meet a lot of the times and a lot of days. And 
Also, uh, if any of you guys have been keeping up the news, uh, we also happen to have a communication error with Korea as well, so. <laughs> and so another point would be that success begins with initiative. And me being Chinese and all, here's a proverb. Uh, the journey of a thousand steps starts with the first one. And it's actually very hard to start that first one. And third would be that goals change, and that's OK, because like uh, Maritza said before, instead of 25 kids, uh, like 2,500, uh, not bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, um, we, we would also like to thank Maria and Connie for all their support. They, even when we felt at our lowest point, when we thought we couldn't do this project, they kept pushing us. And we got to, we got to show this to thousands of people. And we're really grateful for them. Um, if it hadn't been for them and the IIT Boeing Scholars Academy and everybody who supports this program, um, I wouldn't be able to, to do all of the great things that I've done with this program. And I'd just like to say thank you. Um, I'd also like to add to thank our mentors as well. Luis Fernandez, I mean, uh, Luis Fernandez, yeah, and Sheena Enriquez uh, for putting up with us. And also, uh, as for moving forward, we're gonna keep on updating and such, maybe up and like upload more videos and like update the Facebook page, so you can follow us there. And there's also, uh, we're making plans to actually make this a step further, and we might, um, we're, yeah, non-for-profit organization, that's what we're going for. <laughs>